Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, this is my son Ben, mm -hmm. and today we have a closer look at Springbank. This is the 12 year old in cast strength, mm -hmm. and uh, this is one of the, well, not that popular bottles in the regular brands of Springbank. Uh, it's the 10 year old and the 15 year old and the 21 year old, which is Oh, yeah, the most popular of Springbank. Then we have the cast strength and uh, finished whiskies, which come out as well mm -hmm. over a limited time. Yeah, Springbank is one of the brands of the Springbank distillery. It's kind of the the middle brand. You have it as a, a lightly peated whiskey, two and a half times distilled. Yeah, that's like some part of it is triple distilled, some of the double distilled. And then you have the other two brands, the Hazelburn, which is the, the very light one, triple distilled, non-peated. And then you have the Longro, which is good, intense. intense peated. Isla style. Isla style peated, mm -hmm. heavily peated, however you want to like to call it. And you have a double distillation. So it's a much, a much more rough and tough whiskey. So this one is the the middle of the lane from Springbank. Mm. Specialty of Springbank is that everything is done at the distillery. Most of it is done mainly by hand, so it's always a little bit more expensive than others. You have to pay 10 euros, dollars, pounds more for a comparable brand because all of that manual labor uh, involved in the process. They even bottle at the distillery. Yes, they do have a bottling line, but the very specialty about Springbank is their maltings. So they do have the old traditional style maltings where they steep the, the grain, then they spread it out, let it germinate, then they dry and it. And they produce 100%. They do 100% of that. Yeah, everything is done at Springbank. Yeah. At Springbank. And I think they do have an old cast iron mash tun with rakes in it and that kind of stuff. So they're, they're really traditional. And yeah, that's a bit inefficient and that costs a bit more. Yes. But it's uncolored, uh, until filtered. Yeah, it's a, a really, really old style whiskey. Yeah. But I think they, um, they're the brother distillery or sister distillery of uh, Glengyle. And they used to supply Glengyle with malt. And I'm not quite sure when they finished or if they have finished, but uh, there will be new malting floors, or there are new malting floors at Glengyle, so the production at Springbank should mm -hmm. pick up. Yeah, so this is 54.8. Oh, yeah. And uh, <laughs> the bottle is around a 60 euros, dollars, pounds. Yeah, and 54.8, so it has lost a lot mm -hmm. from the casks. Oui. <laughs> there is a smell of of peat in it. It's a light smokiness. You can smell the alcohol. It's lightly cooling. There's fruitiness. Heather. Probably a little bit of citrus note. Not much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more. Yeah. <laughs> I do love it. You do have the peat smoke, but it's at a very distinct distance from your nose. So it's fruity, smoky, and then you have deeper fruitiness. So yeah, you have a, a citrus note, which go, is a bit with a deeper note. So it's more of a, a orange one, but you also do have a lot of uh, spices in there, like like cinnamon or now cloves and and yeah, but it's it's strange that when you smell and at some point you oh, do get a whiff of smoke again. So it's it's a mm. it's I would say it is a complex one. So I will go just just very little bit down because this is a cast strength. People would like to taste it neat, I think. And uh, I do. I think I can it. try it for fifty four. I can handle hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> So you can see it's it's uh, not that uh, whiskers in the glass. Uh, the higher the the alcohol, the less the viscosity is. So it's very 
disturbing fast in the glass. And now much more fruit in it. Probably a little bit of caramel. Mm -hmm. Still the smoke. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Still hefty with all the alcohol in it, bringing it just right on your tongue. <laughs> it's it's cladding my tongue, so this is definitely the last one today. <laughs> Maritime note in it, bitterness, dark chocolate. This is older than 12 years from my point of view. Mm -hmm. Massive. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's the... Oh, or oh, maybe it's when you swallow it. Uh, when you have it in your mouth, it's, it's still creamy and, and milk chocolate and a bit of caramel. And when you swallow, that, swallow it, then you do realize what you said. It's, it's strong. It's massive. It's smoky. It has a dark chocolate and just a... Just a... Yeah. Strong whiskey. The aftertaste is medium. It's strong on the tongue, but in the aftertaste, it still keeps, but not too long. It's, mm -hmm. it's weaker now. Yeah, the aftertaste is not that long, but um, interesting because it, it changes. The, all the, the very strong flavors that you would expect to stay, they, they just fade and you're left with a, maybe a bit of, what is that? Sweetness, dryness, a little bit of dry smoke. Yeah, it's it's really interesting, full, very mature, good oak, mm -hmm. um, going over to a little spiciness, little sharpness, not a little spiciness, a little sharpness, definitely spiciness, and the aftertaste is in the start a little bit of bitterness and then fading away the bitterness and the rest keeps in your mouth. My tongue is still cladded. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The second one I do get, do get it's a it's a complex one. Um, now I do have a bit of these marine flavors or maritime flavors, as you said, a little bit, a little bit of a, a seaweed note, with a, combined with a lot of smoke. So yeah, the I think the smoke stacks up from the first one and now the second one. I have a little bit of uh, so citrus in the afternoon. How much is it? Forty. 50, 54.8. That's pretty much the, the edge that I <laughs> that I find enjoyable, I would mm -hmm. say. Yeah, so mm -hmm. mine is 53 and <laughs> I prefer it below 50. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's very dry water. In, In the aftertaste, aftertaste, it's dry. The citrus comes up. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, citrus. A oh. bit of a dry citrus note. Mm -hmm. But I love it. This There's so much heritage going on with Springbank and... Uh, they have wonderful whiskies. So have a look at whiskey.com. There's there are much more bottlings from Springbank and there's a lot of, to know about the Springbank distillery. So thank you very much for watching and see you next time.